So every night we we dream, um, would seem, uh, not always remembered maybe, but we dream, consciousness dreams worlds, doesn't it? Worlds filled with people, places, and things, and events, and circumstances, and stories, and dramas, and the whole thing, right? It's truly incredible every night. And it certainly seems from within the dream that we're encountering all these very distinct phenomena. Um, I was dreaming last night of my my folks uh, home uh, in Southern California, and it was this whole kind of thing that was going on of um, we were still trying to remove things from the house, and it was it's a very complex sort of story. It's not really relevant, but um, wow, I mean, it was all all the stuff that seems so different, the house, the things in the house, the people in the house was all of one thing, essentially, right? All the creativity, we could say, of the dreaming consciousness that definitely appeared and in some sense was experienced as distinct phenomena in interaction with each other. As I often say, that that the whole nighttime dream is, is a beautiful, beautiful metaphor for um, this. And because we experience this incredible diversity, don't we, of phenomena that often strikes us as being separate phenomena that are interacting with one another, one thing causing another, one thing pushing against another, one thing dancing with another, and experience ourselves as yet another of the phenomena that are in interaction with other phenomena, right? That's that's the standard view that we have, right, of life, waking life. But just as we're sitting here as this incredible array of phenomena is being encountered right now for each one of us, just feel that all of it is being generated by, well, we can't really say, can we? We can't really We can't know what, what's generating this moment, but we could say that it's the creative force of the universe, isn't it? This moment is being generated in all of its different permutations and manifestations, is being generated in real time right now, right? I immediately, this moment is being created by whatever, the creative force of life, isn't it? I just feel that, feel that everything, every single little nuance of experience, every single thing that we call a thought generated by the, it, an expression of the creative force of life itself, the creativity of life. Feel that, feel that creative force, that the energy of this moment. It's what we are feeling. To feel the creativity of reality, to recognize and appreciate that does not depend upon what is being created, we could say, right? It doesn't. The creative force of the universe does not depend upon the particularities of what's being generated by that creative force. All of it is the display of its creativity, right? So no experience from this standpoint is better or worse or closer to the creative force somehow than some other experience. It doesn't matter what we're experiencing, in other words, right now, for purposes of feeling this creative, this creativity of life. There's no escaping this creativity. There's no actual entering into the creativity. There's no gaining the creativity. There's no losing the creativity. 
that is giving rise to all of this, for that is all that exists is this creative force that's springing forth as each instant, as each apparition, as each experiential texture and quality, every mood, every fragrance, every taste. The very contemplation of this creative energy that I'm inviting you into is yet another of its expressions. This exploration, this feeling of what is here, this curiosity, all of it, right, is nothing but the creativity of life. It's activity. Astonishing. We're always partaking of this creative life force, aren't we? Because there's nothing else to partake of. We are its expression, everything about us. We're not standing apart from the creative force of the universe, right? We are its one of its countless expressions the body, what we call the body, all the cells, all the molecules, all the atoms, all the subatomic particles, this intricate dance of what we call matter, the expression of the creative force of the universe, right? Right now, in real time, that takes the form of listening to these words and contemplating their meaning and experiencing whatever we're experiencing in relationship to this inquiry this exploration all of it the creativity of life springing forth shining forth as everything no experience is more it any more than any dream image is more the dream right exactly the same no thought can bring you closer to or further from this radiant creativity. No feeling, no state can bring you closer towards it or further away from it because all of it is the expression of the creativity, the life force. We don't have to lift a single finger, so to speak, to move towards this, for this is all that exists. We can just relax and enjoy that, the reality of this creative force that is springing forth as every single moment of existence, every single experience. There's no division from this standpoint for everything is the expression of this creativity, this life force. It takes many different shapes and forms, clearly. That's its diversity. It's every expression seems to be utterly unique, right? Nothing repeating. Each one of us, you know, unique expression, but all of it, the expression of this mysterious creative intelligence. I mean, how each one of us is the way that we are <laughs> is staggering, right? How we perceive the particular way that we perceive, how we know what we know and how we come to know what we know. And it's endless, right? It's just absolutely... Um, 
the wonder of it is is without end. <laughs> Everything is wondrous in its being an expression of this creativity, right? Just absolutely fathomless. There's no hierarchy of experience from this perspective, for everything is equal in its being an expression of this create, creative life force. No better or worse, no higher or lower, no more or less enlightened. Everything equal in its, its radiance, equal in its vibrancy, in its creative vitality and aliveness. Can you feel how from this vantage, it is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely impossible to ever lose this, to ever be without this, to ever be apart from this somehow? to ever lose touch with this how could that be when that's when this is all that exists this is all that's being beheld all that's being touched all that's being tasted all that's being seen and heard and known it's that inclusive of everything so it cannot be lost since it is everything <laughs> since it is every moment. And feel as, as we're sitting here, how there's zero degrees of separation from this creativity, this life. Absolutely complete intimacy. We are this life. We are not observing this life or noticing this life, this creativity. There's not a subject and an object here. There is just the creative force. Call it life, call it reality. Can't really say, right? But there's no individual and something between the individual and life somehow. There is simply pure naked experience. The creative force, the life that we are utterly blended with the life we might imagine is somehow not us just life, the water of life mixing with the water of life. Everything completely blended. In that sense, not being things, but just being this, this swirl of aliveness. Unbounded, undivided. Always. Even though it can show up and be experienced as being someone in relationship to other things, but fundamentally undivided at the same time. Curious as that may be. <laughs> And 
and this creative force can look like anything, right? And looks like everything. Feels like everything. We don't have to do something to create it or conjure it or cultivate it. It is creating us and everything in real time right now. 